In today's world, everyone is more concerned with having a deeper understanding of who they are in order to better navigate the world, increase productivity, and better their interactions with other humans. A deeper understanding of oneself results to self-love, which gives rise to self-confidence, a much-needed attribute to surviving in today's world. The Sigma personality stands on its own in the hierarchy of personality types, just adjacent to the Alpha personality. The Sigma personality goes by many names depending on the typing model you might be familiar with, but the most common names for Sigmas out there are the Lone Wolf, the Mastermind, the Architect, the Scientist, the Observer, and Founders. As spiritual animals, the Lone Wolf, the Tiger, and the Owl are the spiritual compasses directing them as they roam about the universe seeking knowledge and new ideas. Sigma females are the rarest women constituting just under 1% of the population. At their best, people refer to them as intelligent, smart, knowledgeable, bold, courageous, confident, calm, kind, loyal, empathetic, logical, rational, analytical, and selfless. At their worst, nouns like weirdos, freaks, loners, lunatics, pessimists, maniacs, misfits, and outcasts clearly captures the attributes of these women. Because nature has tasked Sigma females with more than the average woman can handle, it's but normal that these unicorns of the human kingdom are unique and their qualities are too good to be true that every woman wish they were Sigma females. In a nutshell, Sigma females are loners who are never lonely, thinkers who enjoy being in their head, and good listeners who are very selective and passive. Just before you smash the like button, so that this channel gets the exposure it desires, it is imperative that we answer this question. Can someone's personality type change? Temporally, yes, but permanently, no. The cause of temporal changes in personality type can sometimes be caused by emotional changes, life circumstances, environment, and intellectual bias. For instance, losing a loved one can change a normally logical and analytical person into a feeling and more sympathetic individual. But as time passes, that individual will gradually revert to being the person they were before. Intellectual bias results when you decide to selectively associate yourself to a few attributes of a particular personality because you desperately want to be seen that way. Here are 10 traits unique to Sigma females. If you score 5 and above, welcome to the Sigma universe. But if you score below 5, it means you are not a Sigma. Beware of intellectual bias and be fair to yourself. 1. Your inner monologue never stops. You have a distinct inner voice that is always running at the back of your mind and is hard to shut off. Sometimes you can't sleep at night because your mind is still going. You may sometimes spend anywhere between 15 minutes to an hour in bed before finally falling asleep. The voice is a vice as it is a virtue in that it sometimes acts as a distraction when you are focusing on less interesting subjects and as an idea trigger when searching for solutions. You can still hear thoughts from your past, something you said many years ago still fresh on your mind as if it was said yesterday. And sometimes the people with whom you shared that moment with have long forgotten about it. 2. You enjoy spending plenty of time alone. You have no problem staying at home on Saturday night. In fact, you always look forward to it. To you, Netflix and chill really means watching Netflix and relaxing. Or maybe your thing is reading a book, playing a video game, drawing, cooking writing, needing tiny hats for your cat, or just lingering around the house, whatever your preferred solo activity is, you do it as much as your schedule allows. You feel good when you are alone, and in your alone time, you are free. 3. You do your best thinking alone. Your alone time isn't just about indulging in your favorite hobbies. It is about giving your mind time to depress and recharge. When you are with other people, it might feel like your brain is overloaded to really work the way it should. In solitude, you are free to tune in into your own inner monologue. You become more creative and have deeper insights when you are alone. 4. You often feel lonelier in a crowd than when you are alone. There is something about being with a group of people that makes you feel disconnected from yourself. Maybe it's because it's hard to hear your inner voice when there is so much noise around you. Or maybe it's because you have grown too used to your inner voice that the company of others is not just as suiting as the one inside your head. 
Whatever the reason, as a Sigma female, you crave intimate moments and deep connections, and those usually aren't found in a crowd. 5. You don't like networking. You would rather stick needles under your fingernails than walk up to strangers or knock on people's door trying to sell them on something. Not that you can't do it, but you hate to. But if it is imperative that you must do it, you will teach yourself how to and practice over and over before the pitch. When you're finished, you will feel beaten and you will need downtime to recharge and wonder if other people have to try this hard when meeting with new people. 6. You don't desire to be the center of attention. Anywhere you find yourself, be it at work or among friends, you like to maintain a low profile. You would rather pull your boss aside after a meeting and have a one-on-one -on -one conversation or email your ideas than explain them to a room full of people. But when you are really passionate about something and feel like the people in charge are not well informed, you don't hesitate to momentarily take center stage and do what you do best. 7. You are better at writing your thoughts than speaking them. You prefer texting to calling. You would rather text friends than call them and email your co-workers than sit in for a staff meeting. Writing gives you the time to reflect on what to say and how to say it. It allows you to edit your thoughts and craft messages as you see fit. Plus, there is less pressure when you are typing words from your head into your phone alone than when you are saying them to someone in real time because the elements of spontaneity and surprise are often against you. This explains why many Sigmas are authors and artists. 8. You avoid small talk when possible. It's not a strange thing for you to run to the adjacent room or change direction just because you don't want to engage in meaningless small talk. Or sometimes you have to wait a few minutes in your apartment when you hear your neighbors in the hallway just because you don't want to have a conversation. This is typical of Sigmas. It's not that Sigmas are afraid of making small talk, it's just because they would rather not do it. 9. You have been told you are too intense. This stems from Sigma's dislike of small talk. If it were up to Sigma's, meaningless chit chat would be banished and philosophical discussion would be the norm. Given a chance, you would choose to rather sit down with someone and discuss the meaning of life or at the very least, exchange some real and honest thoughts. Meaningful interactions are the Sigma's antidote to social burnout. 10. You are intentional with your actions. There is an intent to whatever you do be it eating or reading a book. Because Sigmas are thinkers, you take your time to think things through before saying them. You don't miss words when you talk. Everything you do has a reason behind it. When you eat, you eat because you want to stay healthy and to you, there is nothing as eating just for fun. You read because you want to acquire knowledge to solve a problem or just to be aware should in case you ever need the knowledge and not for pleasure as others will do. Being a Sigma has its pros and cons, like any other personality type. Now that you know who you are, you should take the necessary steps needed to better understand yourself and hence your relationships and stop feeling like an outcast, a misfit, a weirdo. And thanks for watching.